We are fishing on location today for the big black brim down in uh, Footscray. Today's, today's weather will be sunny and 24 degrees, so let's hope the big black brim are on the go. Well, basically I have been fishing here for a while now. Um, my name's Phil. Um, I don't know if you've seen my previous video. It was Phil's brim fishing. Um, landing a brim down here a couple of days ago, it was actually. It was a couple of days to, to go to today. Yeah, probably last week. It was last week. We're doing a very regular um, YouTube thing. Um, Hopefully you one day make it big. Um, I live and breathe fishing, catch fish all the time. Uh, Favourite sport fish of all time will be the black, uh, the big snapper. But for a pastime fish, the brim, very good. I recommend to bring your kids down, have a go at the brim. Best base for brim will be mussel, boron, uh, worm, sometimes pili even. Um, they like their pippy. Basically, just fish with a slack line, let the fish pick it up and take it for itself. Running sinker rig would work very, very well. Or the method I use, just tie a jig head straight to the end of your line. Slide a bit of bait on. Basically, you leave the slack line, as you can see here. Just fishing with slack line. See? Just a nice spin outfit, nice little reel. Nothing too fancy, nothing too expensive. Um, basically, wait, once the line goes tight, the fish has got it in its mouth. Uh, for all the other fishers out there, that, um, you know what I mean, like that, you know, for your snapper fishing. Um, yeah, guys that do their snapper fishing, you'll know what I mean. You'll get a run out of these fish, especially the big ones. They like to take it and run. For all the other brim fishers out there um, that use the soft plastics, my location, not that very good. They prefer the bait. Um, if you want to give it a crack down here, yep, by all means. But the uh, fish aren't recommended to be eaten out of here um, there's a bit of mercury in the water and stuff but all in all it's good fun mate it's good fun catch and release i like to promote my catch and release um i've got a good friend that i talk to a lot alex uh prestige fishing uh, as you can see up here on my own gives me a few bits here and there to wear while fishing he makes good fishing clothes oh, he orders fish good fishing clothes he has good game rigs um does a lot of game fishing so just go on to uh website up here on the hat and that would be www.prestigefishing.com.au um, basically just uh, talk to Alex on there he'll, uh, he'll help you out with all your game fishing needs as in for lines he gets his lines in um, he's got bulk spools of line 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 pounds and then big bulk spools too so if you need any fishing gear Jump on to www.prestigefishing.com.au and uh, Alex, he'll be happy to help you out. And uh, yeah, he's got also he's very very good prices with them. He's very very reasonable. He's he's probably most one of the most reasonable prices I've ever ever seen in fishing gear. I do, I do get a bit of stuff off him myself. Um, basically, yeah, nah. Have a look at uh, prestigefishing.com.au and uh, yeah, go from there and. Uh, Tell Alex that Phil sent ya. Alright, we're catching up soon. We'll see if we can hook a fish. At the moment, not biting. Not biting. But you know what they say don't get off the horse if you fall off. Get off the horse, jump back on. It's fishing. Can't expect them to be here all the time. But I'm going to be putting it in the hours today. There'll be a few videos up today. Um, hopefully, a few hookups too. Alright, well, we'll be uh, talking soon then. All right, tight lines. All right, guys. Um, basically, I had a good bite. All right. And uh, the result is... The fish, they take you into the snags. As you can see, uh, I've been snapped off. Uh, guys, well, what I'll do is... I will uh, get back to you in two ticks. I'll just put the camera down for a second and uh, get out the uh, gear and I'll show you how I do my rig. And how I do me bait. All right, here we go. First off, what you'll need is a couple of jig heads. Uh, I recommend if you're going to come down to this location, yeah, bring a few with you. Um, basically, I've gone through nearly a whole packet already in the last week. A couple of packets, sorry. I use the G heads 
usually with a light weighted one um, due to the fact that the brimmer can be uh, very picky around here and if they do pick it up feel a bit of weight or a bit of tightness in the line they won't hesitate to uh, hesitate to uh, spit it plain and simple um, brim very very uh, can be very very picky when they want to be otherwise you can get them on their good days where they'll just grab and snap anything in sight well if you can get them on that day you're lucky because they're the best days uh, the last week or so here I've been fishing I have um, how can you put it been slamming them I'll put it that way I've been slamming them for the last week all right guys this is the rig this is the rig Just a jig head, all right. Tied straight to the main line, I find is the best technique. All right, now what I'll do is, I'll explain a bit more about the bait, and then I'll show you how you put it on. All right, now basically guys, what I use, just go down to your local servo, uh, grab a good packet of uh, bait, have a look at the prawns, make sure they're not black. All your prawns have to be white, because then they're the fresh prawns. And you know how that old saying goes, and everyone knows the old saying, you know what is best, and that's fresh. Fresh is best. Alright guys, um, you can't beat fresh. Plain and simple. Alright guys, this is the rig. You get your pawn, you slide it straight onto the hook, all the way through, pop it out. And at the end of the day, that's how your bait's going to look. Brim will snap that up, no dramas. Alright guys, this will be the end of this filming. I will be putting up another video shortly with me with a hook up. Alright, till then, tight.